David, you know, your penalty kill is just working right now. You guys statistically have the second best unit or units in the AHL. What is working so well on the penalty kill for your group? Uh, I think we're, uh, we all know what we're supposed to do. I mean, it's pretty clear and I think we just, just do what we're supposed to do and we skate a lot. And you can see also that guys are willing to block the shots for a team. And uh, I think it's just everybody, everybody's really dialed in when it comes to PK. What, what can that do for your group as a whole when you, like I said, you kill all four this afternoon? I mean, it's huge. Uh, I mean, power play and PK can win a game for you. And uh, I mean, if they get a goal on their first power play, it's 1-0 for them. And that would be a total different game. So, I mean, special teams is probably the most important thing sometimes. So, David, your team's won three of your last four games here at home. What seems to be working so well when you guys are playing in Winnipeg? Uh, I mean, we have a, uh, I think uh, it's finally nice to have some fans again. And uh, today was a pretty good, uh, pretty good amount to came down and cheer for us. And uh, that, that really helps. And it's been, it's been really good so far. Is that, is that a big, do, I mean, you said it's nice to have them. Is that a huge boost for a player, especially, you know, you guys score early, kind of gives you guys a little bit of momentum to having all those fans, especially the young kids in the crowd cheering for you? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, it's, uh, I mean, last year we had nobody and uh, now you see like fans all over and cheering for you. It's, uh, it's a huge difference. And, uh, you know, when we get going, we get, get a goal and the whole crowd goes with us. It's, it's, uh, it makes it easier for you to play. Gives you extra motivation. Perfect. Thanks, David. Thank you. We'll go next to Jacob Stoller from Full Press Hockey. Go ahead, Jacob. Hey, David. Uh, you know, you've obviously developed quite a bit of chemistry with Cole Perfetti. Have you guys gotten to know each other more you know, off the ice in that span or, or you know, any sort of friendship evolved through it or, or just kind of natural on the ice? No, I mean, uh, we, uh, I mean, I'm knowing this is my second year playing with him. So I know him, he's a, he's a great kid. And uh, I don't know, we've been playing some Warzone together too. It's good for team chemistry. That's uh, probably the best one. Is Warzone the most popular game a game amongst the guys, or what's sort of the game of choice these days amongst the gamers? Uh, yeah, I would say Warzone is a game. That's that's uh, that's what Manny Toba Moose does in the off days. Um, so you know, another young player that uh, you know has really been big and played with you a lot in the power play is Billy Hainola. How big is sort of his abilities at the top of the point on the power play for your team? Oh, it's huge. I mean, uh, it's always a threat because his, uh, his one-timer and his shot overall, I mean, that's always a threat. So I, I know the other teams have to respect that and uh, if they don't do, he's going to score. And if they do, it leaves spaces uh, open for uh, me or the other guys. And j just further to that, like how big has it, you know, we talked a lot about uh, was a couple weeks ago about how your, your defensemen don't just like to create a puck up, they like to attack. They think about attacking. Um, how big has that been for you guys as November is kind of coming to a close and you guys have piled a lot more wins, wins together? Uh, it's huge. I mean, uh, I love when, personally, I love when the defenders go down and try to attack and don't just stay up on the blue line. I mean, we have huge mo uh, movement in the offensive zone and I think the other teams really hate playing against that because it's, I mean, it's tough playing against us because you get tired and uh, we get some good shifts down there and that's tough to play against. For someone like yourself that's like in front of the net, um, how like how have the defenseman's ability to get shots through really you know been a benefit to yourself? Is it their ability to see where you guys are being able to tip it through, or just being able to get it past the first line of defense and the people blocking the shots? Sorry, I didn't understand the question. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, sorry, my bad. Just with the defenseman being able to like, throw a lot of pucks on net, um, is that a, is, there, is that a skill for them because they're you know getting it past the people trying to block shots or because they know where you guys are going to be to get a second touch on it? Well, I would say that's a, that's a skill you got to have as a D-man. And I think our Ds really have that. I mean, they're good at faking shot, taking it to the side and then ripping it far from the body. And I mean, that's something you got to do because the other team is good at blocking shots. I think everybody here, every team here is really good at doing that. So uh, as a D-man, it's huge to, if you can, um, if you get, can get pucks through, and that's huge for a team too, because then we have guys down there battling it in.